Hello everyone, you are welcome to Anchor Network where you get reliable and authentic news that are so crucial to you. I say big thank you to everyone who has been part of this channel and who has taken time to subscribe. And if you are here to subscribe, I say please click the red subscribe button and also the bell icon. The bell icon will allow you to get notified anytime we publish any news. Why House of Reps should be scrapped, says Okorocha. Senator Rochas Okorocha has advised that there should be a reduction in the number of parliamentarians representing each state of the Federation. Okorocha, representing Imo West Senatorial District, said this while contributing to a committee report on MTEF at the Senate plenary today, while stating its reason as being the inability of the nation to affo afford their expenditure any longer. According to him, there's nothing too special being done by the House of Representatives members that only senators are not capable of doing. While reacting to the 2019 budget deficit, which was revealed by the Committee Report on Budget and National Planning, Okorocha said the government is diverting too many funds on lawmakers. He said, Mr. President of the Senate, distinguished colleagues, let us tell assess the truth. Look at the number of House of Representatives members and senators. To me, what is too important that a House member is doing that a senator from the same state is not doing? It is time for us to sacrifice and I want to say that a senator is not is enough to represent a state in order to cut costs. We must do sacrifice for the nation. Okorocha opined that money should be spent on products rather than capital expenditures. Reacting Senate President Dr. Ahmed Ibrahim Lawan said the constitution provided for the practice of bicameral legislature, saying Okorocha should feel free to sponsor a bill commending one parliament. Recommending one parliament. He further explained that the essence of the upper and lower legislative chambers was for lawmakers to think deeply and constructively for the country. So, guys, uh, You've heard it from both uh, senators, both the uh, Senate presidents and uh, uh, Senator Rochas Okorocha. You know they want to, they want to. I don't know. They want to. They want to bobo us. <laughs> they really want to bobo us. Of course, he, he, Okorocha has said the, the the actual truth because he's just tried. You know. Uh, you know, duplicating one thing, and that is where they spend much money. They spend more money on themselves. All the budget, like 80 or 70 percent of the budget they make every year, is just for them to fund their own lifestyle. That is where it goes. It's not even spent on any, any most of the project, it's always the, themselves. And you will see them, they will come out and tell you they want to buy a car, they want to buy this, they want to buy that. Some of the senators even came out and said. You know that Nigerians are insulting them. That why would they not buy cars? Why would they not buy SUV? That even for Nigerians to be saying that why should they need a SUV? That it's like they are insulting them. That Nigerians are insulting them. You can imagine these are the people that we are paying. You know, and we that we are paying them, we are <laughs> we are living in abject poverty. We can't even feed ourselves. And the people that we employed, they are living in affluence. You know, it's so ironical. Of course, uh, the Senate president has already told the. Uh, Rochas Okorocha, he should go and sponsor the bill. You know, from his own statement, is something that, okay, it is the constitution. When it comes to something that is going to benefit them, that's going, they will be quoting constitution, quoting law. But from his own stand, he's not even, he does not believe in it. He just feels like, feel that if you think that, that's, that, was, that is what you want, just go and throw it, go and, go and sponsor the bill. He, because most of them will say it is dead on arrival. That is their language. They will tell you that it is dead on arrival. From the statements and the position of the Senate president, he is dead on arrival, and that is just the way it is. They will not allow it. They know quite all right that they are just wasting. They are all wasting Nigerian resources, the, the country's resources. They are wasting it on themselves. They are doing nothing. Okay, because uh, the reason why I said the Senate president is not even concerned about that, he said the reason why they have these, these, two, these two chambers both lower and upper chamber. It's for them to think constructively for the country. Ask me the question, what have, what have they been able to thought out? 
What have they been able to reason out? Nothing. If really they are doing their work, are we still going to be in this position? Are we still going to be experiencing what we are experiencing here and there? So none of them could have thought or constructively, you know, reason out how this country should move forward. The only thing they would know is just to be wearing Agbada, just to be wearing executive clothes. That's just it. Feeling big. Feeling big here and there. That is just the only thing they know. Let them just, you know, people should be worshipping them. Ah, your Excellency, Honorable. Where, where, where are they? Your Excellency, Your Excellency. Oh my goodness. That is what he has said, the Senate President. Lawan, we said, the, the reason why they are there, he has already told the uh, Rocha Sokorocha, if you know that that is what you feel, go and sponsor it. Of course, you know how it's going to end. But I, just like I said, it's like they're just trying to bobo so that it won't be as if he's not talking. Because he said, he, said he, he knows. He knows what he's going to embark on. The only people that can save this country, they are we Nigerians, not them. Not them. Even if you have good people, because even as we complain about uh, our politicians, we still have very, very, very little percentage of people, of them, that are still good. But the, most, the, the, the problem is that you don't get to hear them. You don't, you don't get to hear their voice. Even if they suggest anything, it's just going to be dead. It's to be dead on arrival. That is it. It is already dead before it will even get to them. And they will be laughing. The only people that can save this country are the masses. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the masses are not ready for anything. They are not ready for anything. Just like I said, the position of the Senate president is that it's not going to happen. That they, if really, no, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't have been any problem if really they are doing their job. You know, you rub my back, I rub my back. If you rub the back of the masses, you give them what they want, give them what they desire. She cannot. There's, there's gonna, there's not going to be any problem. Stay your lane. We will stay our lane. But now you pack everything to yourself. Nothing. You are not even releasing anything to the masses. Ah, it's very, very unfortunate. Over 200 million people, and yet we can't even do anything. We are so helpless. We are so handicapped. It's very, very unfortunate. It's as if, to me, it's as if there's something that, you know, that was blown into the air. And everybody is not just looking at that direction. Of course, there are some things that they have done physically that, you know, they've tried to divide us. And we reason differently. Some people will be reasoning, you know, on one side. Some will be, you know, at the other side. So how do you expect us to get a desired result when we are scattered, when we are divided? There is strength in unity, but that unity has been divided. That unity has been scattered by these so-called politicians. I'm not be, I will not even be happy or I will not be rejoicing over what uh, Okorocha is saying because... It's possible they are all just playing to the gallery. They have told him, go and sponsor the bill. If really that is what you want, go and sponsor the bill. And they will be laughing. And meanwhile, maybe at the, at the back, they say, oh, oh boy, I just say, make a talk down, make you know, be like, say, I don't talk anything. At least they go, no, say, I don't talk. You know, that's a, you know, what is trending now is that people are beginning to ask, when you were there, what did you do? You are part of this, what did you do? So it's, that is what is it's trending. Okay, let me just let me just say it so that it won't be as if I've not said anything. At least they will you know that you know that was a time. Once upon a time, Okorocha, Rocha Sokorocha said this. He proposed this. Uh, you know, so that it won't be as if he has not done anything. I think that's is that's just what they are doing. If really they are serious about it, it shouldn't be coming not from only one person. Honestly, huh? When people are talking and saying things, it will be as if maybe they are just trying to be negative. No. Because when you have believed, you have believed something over a time, you have, you have been hoping, you have hoped for a very long time, and the hope is just dashing out. You are seeing it. Even, just like I say, some, some, there are some things that, you know, you just be imagining or you think that it could really happen. Knowing fully where that, even from your own end, it's, you know that it's dead on arrival, that nobody's going to pick it up. Nobody's going to say anything. Even if somebody comes out to say, okay, let us just come together. Is it not the, the same thing we are experiencing with Shiwari? Is anybody saying it? Just few people. Just few people. Because if really we are coming out, you know, massively, 
I'm sure that 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 man would have that gentleman would have been released. But just few people that are talking, and the few ones that are talking, their voices are not loud enough. Are not loud enough. The ones that are saying crucify him, crucify him, those are the voices that we are hearing more. But the ones who are saying release him, release him, release this man, release this your worry, their voices are so faint. So guys, I don't know what you think about uh, what uh, Ruth Tatukurucha is saying. That a uh, house of reps should be scrapped. And the Senate president said the reason why they are there is for them to be able to think constructively. But ask me whether that is the position we have or that is what we have on ground now. If really they are thinking, if I thought they are thinking, the majority of those people, both upper and lower chamber, nobody can even reason out anything thing that can move this country forward it's all about retrogression retrogression please guys leave your comments below in the comment section thank you very much for always being there bye